tryna be crack. Yeah, she wanna be cutty. That bitch is a baby. I'm gonna fuck the house, not pound. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Brandon Two Flash coming to another video, and today, as y'all see by the title, I got another VC glitch for y'all boys. I got some sauce for y'all. As y'all see my last couple glitches, they have been going green. I saw that a lot of people have been hitting me up on Instagram. Some people hit me up on Twitter. I don't know how y'all got my Twitter because I ain't put that on the video, but hit me up saying the glitch was working. Some people had problems with it and I had helped them through it. Some people didn't have enough people to do the glitch with or whatever. But anyway, man, I'm going to do much more talking, man. Uh, before we get into this glitch, y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe, and shout out my boy Charles 2K, man. If y'all don't know him, go ahead and patch in Charles 2K. Uh, shout out to him for this glitch, man. A lot of people have been putting me on this one. Want to get y'all some sauce, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. Okay, going back to y'all another video, man. If you're into the channel, make to subscribe. You'll turn subscribe, make to a like. Comment down below what your boy know how he's doing. And turn on those posts on the case so you never miss an upload from me, your boy. Also, in the comments down below is our 2K21 giveaway, man. Go in the comments down below into your chance to win a free copy of 2K21. But today, I got a VC glitch for y'all. And this VC glitch is going to be straight fire. Y'all know I told y'all I want to give y'all no more little boy VC glitches. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by little boy is. You know what I'm saying? You don't profit that much from it. So this VC is going to be real easy to do. Any console is going to be able to do this. Let me say it again. Any console is going to be able to do this because y'all be on my head about, oh, you say this, but only this can do this and this can do that. Okay. Well, every console is going to be able to do this one. So without further ado, all you will need to do this is 2K20. You don't need no my player. You don't need nothing. So to start this glitch, simply hit over to my league, hit triangle on my league, and you hit start new my league. All right. Now, once you get to this menu right here, hit current NBA teams, start a regular season. Uh, just hit, hit start mode. Select any team you want. And I'm uh, just to show you that this works. I'm gonna go for a pretty doodle -doo team. Uh, who was pretty bad in real life? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go with the Sacramento Kings. All right, cool. Uh, once you get to this menu right here, you just hit start. Now, once this message pops up about the rookies, all something you want to do is hit auto generate. It will go away. Now, once that menu goes away, simply hit circle and hit R1 all the way over to your options. Once you get into your options, go over to my league settings. Now, from here, you're going to put your quarter length on 12 minutes. Make sure your simulator is on 12 minutes as well. Then you want to close out of that. Now, after you close out of that, head into your settings. You can put your game difficulty on whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? It really does not matter. Just make sure your quarter length is on 12 minutes. And also, turn your fatigue off and turn your game speed all the way up to 100 and take fouling out off, okay? Here's what you guys want. Here's how your settings should look. You know what I'm saying? These are the settings that you want to have. All right, to have. All right. Once you've done that, simply back out of that. Head over to your coach settings. Now, from your coach settings, everything that says auto, you just want to switch it to manual. As you guys can see, uh, leave leave everything else how it is. You just want to set the timeouts on manual, the player minutes on manual, and the substitution on manual as well. Okay, cool. One more last final setting you must do. Head over to the CPU and user sliders. Hit triangle on that, and then hit X or Y on Xbox and hit A, and you will have the settings that you need. But don't close out of there yet. You want to go all the way down to your files, okay? Once you get to your files, you want to turn them all the way down to zero. Everything needs to be down to zero just so the gameplay will not be interrupted, all right? You don't want the gameplay to be disturbed in any type of way. So take everything down to zero so everything can flow very smoothly. Now, once you've done that, yours should look exactly like this. Everything on zero. Cool. Now you can back out of this and return to the calendar screen and hit play next game. Now, you guys might get a message popping up asking, do you want to uh, fix rotation? Man, you'll have the CPU to do it. If that pops up, just hit CPU. But once you get to this menu right here, you want to put yourself in the middle and start it up. And I'll be right back once it starts up. Okay, now as you guys can see, once you get into the game, all right, you don't have to do nothing, all right? You can just go chill, watch you some Netflix, hang out with your girl, watch some of my old videos, you know what I'm saying, my new videos, or whatever you gonna do, bro. Whatever you decide to do with your time, you can go ahead and go do it, you know what I'm saying? You gonna let this game just play out. Nothing will stop, all right? Your team will win because of the settings that we have implemented, so you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I'm gonna just fast forward this and show you guys the results from this glitch, so yeah, I'll be right back.
Okay, now as you guys can see, the game is officially over now. We did not win. I don't know why we lost. The setting should have allowed us to win. I just think this team is actually that doodle. -doo. So we didn't win. But anyway, regardless, it does not matter. All you simply want to do once the game over is go to quit. Now, to know how much you got, as you guys see, it is loaded. But in the bottom left-hand corner, you will see um, where your VC will come up at. Y'all going to see how much VC I'm about to get. Now, for that game, I got 1,000 VC, as you guys just saw, and my team lost. All right, so win or lose, get 1,000 VC for doing this. Now, look, y'all might be saying, oh, my God, do I have to wait? To no, you can put it on any, you know what I'm saying, any type of minutes, but you do get slightly less. All right, so just keep that in mind. But anyway, there you guys go. Y'all do this VC glitch as when I posted it. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to that giveaway. It's your boy Charles 2K. I'm out.